I've told you this story before, but a good story is worth repeating. When I was around age 18, I read a book that changed my life and no, it wasn't a hundred things that changed my life in that book, but a single quote which goes like, if you want to become who you are not, you have to do what you have never done. This quote is simple or even a common sense, yet it influences the way I see the world ever since then. Up till today, my mind always works in terms of give and take, sacrifice and gain, giving up and getting back. Whenever I think of having something I don't have, I always think about what I need to change in my life, thought or environment. Unfortunately, most people don't think this way. In my observation, I've seen people who want to get without giving. I've seen people who want to build a successful business without sacrificing their sleep freedom or even friendship and entertainment. I've seen people who want a new life, but they don't want to change their lifestyle. This I think is one of the reasons why most people fail in life. So let's talk about the world right now. If you have to become a better or richer individual in the next 12 months, this video will suggest three things you have to do to become richer. If you're an entrepreneur or a business person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel, which was designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. Stop living as though you have a government. I grew up in a developing country where my father was a local politician. He never held any elective position because he is illiterate, but he loved politics as much as he loves his eyes. I often hear my father and other people complain about the government. I probably believed they were right because I was much younger then. However, when I grew older and noticed what happened from one government to another, I discovered that the government wasn't there to solve anybody's problem, but to talk about it. When it comes to your problems, politicians know how to talk about it because most of them are orators. However, when it comes to solving your problems, I'm sorry, you're on your own. Today, whether I listen to people or read the online comments, it's all the same. Most people blame the government for their woes. This is called victim mentality. This is what you do when you think you're powerless. Fortunately, you are powerful, only if you will make up your mind to use your power. About 12 years ago, I decided to be free from depending on the government or I die. It was a simple decision. I just wanted never to have to wait for the government for anything. Yes, it was the toughest journey of my life. But today, I'm not accountable to anyone nor do I expect any human being to do me a favor or help me out. Look at what is happening around the world right now. The government of my state, for example, decided to distribute foods to the people who are locked down at home and they started distributing to these people the food that's not even enough to make them live a single day. That's how far the government can go. I know so many people will watch this video and think I'm stupid. Why do you say we shouldn't depend on the government? Don't they collect our taxes? Aren't they supposed to be responsible for their citizens? Well, you have some good points, but I don't live my life with such a mentality. I don't wait for the government to help me because they ought to. I go for whatever I want and make crazy sacrifices to get it if need be. It's about pride and being human. You have that pride and dignity inside you. Your life is more precious than to leave it expecting the government to rescue you because the government would never do. Stop living as though the government is your father who cares about you because that is not true. 2. Stop hating the rich. The richest man in my country is also one of the most hated. Of course, so many people hate the politicians than him. But he will rank very high amongst the most hated men in my country. But why? Why do people hate the rich? The rich are greedy. They are thieves. They are monopolies. They are everything evil. They are in Illuminati. Ouch, I'm tired. Can you give me a break and allow me to tell you the truth? The truth is this. Most humans are greedy. Most humans are selfish. Most humans are liars. Most humans do wrong things all the time. It's like saying, I hate the rich because they have two hands. Well, everyone has two hands. This isn't to justify evil but to put it in the right perspective. There are honest worldly people and there are dishonest poor people everywhere. There are generous and righteous rich people and there are evil stingy poor people everywhere. The problem about hating the rich is that you can never be rich because deep within yourself, what you are saying is, money is evil. I can't have it. This is what I do. I don't judge people based on their financial status. If someone is successful or wealthy, I'll learn a few things from him and avoid whatever is unrighteous about his life. It's like eating fish. You send the fish to your throat but throw away the bone. I've read the biography of Steve Jobs, for example. While I could pick one or two great things to learn from his life, I could also tell you one or two things I wish I never do in my life which Steve Jobs did. That doesn't make me a better human than him. I just won't do what he did. That's how you should look at the rich. They are humans, greedy, dishonest and selfish, just like you and I. 
But they are also great people and have done great things most people will never do. Don't hate them for being humans or you would unconsciously hate money. Read the books they have written and learn their good part. That's how to be rich. 3. Stop living as though money isn't important. I don't know, maybe this is peculiar to my country or where I live, but I've seen so many people who think money isn't that important. The irony of this matter is, when there is a crisis or the landlord threatens to evict, or their children need money for school, these people who often hate those who pursue money eventually run to the same people for help. This is my philosophy about money. It's like oxygen. You don't need too much of it, but if you don't have enough of it, you will be in great crisis. This is how to be rich. Have a great desire for wealth. I don't know any one of us who wouldn't block anything else to look for oxygen if we are responsible for looking for it, since you know that you will die without oxygen. If you must create oxygen, you read a hundred books, walk 24 hours every day, and make every humanly possible sacrifice to get oxygen. I tell you, money is the next most important thing after your relationship with God and oxygen. Have a strong desire for wealth. Have a little holy desperation. Don't cheat, lie, or kill for money, but learn, read, and study about how money works and sacrifice any worthy thing to be financially free. Stop expecting the government to help you. They are reputable for disappointing people like you. Stop hating the rich. Stop judging them. Know that they are as evil as most humans, but they also have some good lessons you can learn from. Have a strong desire for money and be willing to make righteous sacrifices to have enough money. Like oxygen, you don't need too much money, but if you don't have enough, you will never be happy. And just before you go, watch other videos on YouTube. If you are an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams.